If you only had $1,000 and I told you that within 12 months you would never have to worry about money again, how would you feel? In this video, I'm revealing 5 things you need to do with your $1,000 today to change your life forever. And to do that, I'm building this house. So first, don't save your $1,000, which sounds absolutely wrong, but here's why. For the longest time before I became financially free, I always followed my parents' footsteps in saving everything I could. Growing up, we didn't really have that much money, and so I valued money a lot, but also meant that I hated spending it. And so I saved every single cent that I could. I only bought stuff on sale, and I even borrowed a bunch of napkins from McDonald's every single day because I thought that that saving was the answer to building wealth. But I was wrong. Instead, the actual answer to build well is this, the roof. But to clarify, if you don't already have an emergency fund, then yeah, save the thousand dollars. But if you already have decent savings, then you need to realize keeping more money in savings without any short-term plan to actually use it is kind of the worst thing you can do. You're effectively spending your money. And that's the chart. A 5% inflation rate makes your $1,000 effectively be worth $950 at one year and then $850 in three years. So unless you like shredding your money, then you need to do the second thing, AKA the house's foundation. Cause there's no point in knowing the answer to wealth, the roof, if the house is just gonna crumble the second that it's built. This foundation is key to everything. And I guarantee that it'll open up so many doors that you didn't even know was possible. And it's this. So you need to learn some very specific high income skills to grow this as quickly as possible. It took me until I was 21 just to realize how important these skills were. But the great thing is once you actually know how to effectively apply these skills, no matter what life throws at you, even if you lose everything, you can easily build up your house again because you have the foundation. So when I was 21, I went on YouTube, Reddit, Google, heck, I even went on Bing and I searched how to start a YouTube business. And I spent months, months reading and learning, trying to absorb as much information that I could. But eventually I noticed I was making two big mistakes. One, I was learning all this stuff and it felt good thinking I had all the answers. And each new thing that I learned was like a dopamine hit, making me feel like I was getting closer to my goal of having a YouTube business. But the problem was I never took action. And two, even though I wasn't technically paying money to learn this stuff, I was paying with something even more valuable. I would spend months just looking for good information, going through all of it and consuming it. And if there's only one thing you need to understand, it's that you only have two resources, money and time. And at 21, I didn't believe in paying for courses for information when I could find everything I needed for free until I had this epiphany. I can always make more money, but I can never make more time. And so my time is much more valuable to me than money. So now you need to figure out if you want to invest time or money learning these high income skills. Now to their thing, the walls. Unfortunately, I didn't realize how important this was until I was 18. When I was growing up, every single adult I knew worked at a supermarket, a laundromat, or a post office. And it wasn't until I went to college that I got a glimpse of what true wealth was. I met kids whose parents were CEOs of Delta and United Airlines. Heck, New York Times even found out that one in four students at my school belonged to the 1%. And I couldn't comprehend what this exactly meant until I tried getting my first summer internship. Keyword tried because I kept getting rejected left and right and I was on the brink of giving up because I didn't know what I specifically was doing wrong, especially when all the other kids were getting their internships so easily. But then one day I finally figured it out. It was because these rich kids' parents knew people who could hook their kids up with a great job. And it was at that moment that I realized the importance of building your network your people. It's people who will provide you with opportunities that can get you to the next level. And yeah, when I realized that I missed out on a ton of opportunities simply because my parents and my family and I didn't have the right connections, I was angry and jealous. But after that, I made a commitment to myself to start building my network and meeting people so that I can show the world that I deserve the chance. The saying, it's not about what you know, it's about who you know, is only half right for people like you and me. Because despite how unfair it is, if you're coming from the bottom, you need to have the right high income skills to stand out from the crowd. So go to conferences, workshops, networking events, and network the heck out of them. 
Sometimes you'll need to pay to get in, but it's worth every single penny to build up your network. Because you never know if that random person that you end up meeting can help you access a wealth of knowledge, skills, and resources that you'll need in the future. And here's the absolute networking game changer trick that I use. So at all these events, right, after I get the person's number or email, I'll ask them to take a selfie with me so that I can remember our conversation. And then a few minutes later, I'll actually send them the picture and have a text saying, it was great to meet you and blah, blah, blah. That way, you can both remember each other weeks later. Trust me, no one does this, and it helps so much with remembering faces and conversations. And now, the roof. One of two answers to building wealth from your $1,000. And the second answer is this. Rira, but more on that later. So I started doing this thing when I was 12, and the reason I started is actually kind of sad. Um, but basically, I always saw other kids at school wearing the newest clothes and shoes, and I low-key was always jealous. And I felt bad asking my parents to buy me stuff, right? Because I didn't want to waste their money and spend their money. And so I decided to take things into my own hands. And I'm really glad I did, because the thing that I started when I was 12, I've been able to build onto to this day that completely changed my life. And that's starting a micro business. You don't gotta be the next Jeff Bezos or Elon Musk, but the strategy to scale your $1,000 to whatever your dream number is, is to invest in yourself. There is no one who knows your potential better than you do. There is no one who can make your dreams come true except you. And there is no one who can stop you from achieving your goals but yourself. So why not start believing in you? You have unlimited potential, and the only way to realize what you can achieve is by trying. And the easiest way is with a micro business. Think of it as a way to just add additional income to your main job. It's just a micro business, not something that you'll put all your eggs into one basket immediately, meaning that you can be super flexible with it. The idea is to start using the skills and the networks that you developed early on in the video and actually apply everything that you learned and see how far you can actually take yourself. These are some of the micro businesses to consider. And if you want a more guided approach, check out the side hustle video link below. All right. And now Rira is the second answer to building wealth from your $1,000. Rira is still to this day, one of my biggest regrets in life. I didn't know it existed until I was 22, when I could have been taken advantage of it since I was eight or even younger. So unlike your micro businesses where you have to pay taxes on how much money you gain, with the Rira strategy, you can invest and grow your money and not have to pay taxes on it. And this truly makes a huge difference in your earning potential because this means all your profit is yours. But before I explain how Rira works, I need to stress that I personally don't believe investing your money in the market is the most effective way to build your wealth if you only have a thousand dollars, which is why I left the Rira strategy for the last part. Cause let's say you bought a super risky stock for a thousand dollars. And because it's so risky, the stock price really jumps or falls very quickly. And let's say that it went up by 10% the very next day. That's great, but it's only a hundred dollar gain from your initial investment of $1,000. And remember, you took on a ton of risk for it. Now, don't get me wrong, $100 is nothing to scoff at, but instead, if you spent some of that $1,000 to build up your core skills and network instead, you could have easily made and consistently made more with less risk. So I was 22 when I learned about the Reva strategy and all the benefits of a Roth IRA account. And so I immediately opened one up. I put some money in there and then I invested in the S&P 500 index fund, which depending on your broker is this. Why index fund? Because it's a safe diversified investment that has an average annualized return of 10% per year. And other than just adding more money to my Roth IRA account every single year, I just leave it alone. And the most beautiful thing is that I don't have to pay taxes on any of the gains that I made when I would draw the money. And yeah, while I could invest the money into individual stocks, it would be much riskier. And plus, I don't want to spend my life doing fundamental analysis, reading up on financial news, and boring stuff, which is why I created Daily Market Briefs, a daily newsletter that makes understanding financial news easy and quick. Give it a try, link below. And depending on your own investment preferences, you could look at other diversified index funds. For real estate, there's this, or for tech, there's this. But this is only the tip of the iceberg. Here's your guide, and now to make sure that you don't lose the $1,000, you need to know what my biggest financial mistake was and it's following this very popular financial advice. And chances are, you've been following it too. Click here to avoid making the biggest mistake with your money. 